Um, hello, everybody. We are going to do a phonics lesson and we're going to talk about something new that, that we have not talked about yet. We're going to talk about how to do something called a phonics project. The good thing about a phonics project is that this is something that you can study for more than one day, something that you can pick what you want to study. I'm going to teach you how to do phonics projects. And then once I've taught you how to do one with a certain letter, you can do it at home or you can do it by yourself. Maybe you really want to learn about the first letter of your name. Maybe you've always wanted to know about the letter Q because we don't see Q that much. You know, you get to pick what you want to investigate. OK, now I've already picked a letter for our first investigation. We're going to do this letter together. OK, I'm going to show you the steps um, for a phonics project first. OK, so step one in a phonics project is we have to collect words. We have to collect words that have that letter in it. OK, that's the first step. Whatever letter you're going to study, you have to collect some words. You know like what a collection is? Like, you know, at home you might have a collection of rocks or a collection of cars or a collection of um, LOL dolls. That's a collection. Well, we are going to make a collection of words. OK, now step two. Step two is sort them into groups. See how they're sorting their words? If you had cars at home and you were going to sort them, all the blue cars, all the red cars, that's by color. If you had LOL dolls and you were going to sort them by ones that had blonde hair or black hair, you could do that. I'm going to show you how to sort words, okay? All right, so first step, collect the words. Step two, sort the words. So we're going to do this part together, our first letter. Now, I'm going to show you what our first letter is. Ready? All right. The letter we're going to study is the letter what? What is this? I. Now, here's why I picked I. First of all, it's a vowel. And vowels are tricky for us sometimes because vowels make more than one sound. This I can say a bunch of different sounds. It can say its name, which is what? I. That's called the long I. Say I. The long vowel sound. It also says I. That's the short vowel sound, I. Now, we're going to talk about this letter. Now, I've already done step, remember step one was collect words. Okay, under here, I have my words, okay? Under here, I have my words. They're actually pictures, but they're still words. Step two is what? Let's go back to step two. Sort them into groups. Now, we are going to sort these words by if they have the long I, which is I, do they have the short I, which is if? And also, I'm trying to make sure I have everything ready to go. Also, do they make other I sounds? Do they not say I? Do they not say if? Sometimes that happens. Okay, so let's go ahead and do these together. Now, the first thing we're going to do is just say all the words. We're just going to practice the words. Then we can sort them into groups. All right, so let's go ahead and practice our words. Okay, let's do this first one under here. What do I have? <gasps> ice cream can you say ice cream ice cream good now remember some of these words let me tell you this some of these words are going to have i at the beginning some of them are going to have i in the middle it's not words that all start with i they just all have i in them somewhere now ice cream does start with i all right let's see a next one <gasps> birthday birthday now birthday doesn't start with i but it has an i in the word birthday let's see what else okay Rice. Say rice. Good. All right. Triangle. Say triangle. Milk. Say milk. And this is a pin. Not a pen that we write with. A pin. Say pin. Good. Now, let's go over these one more time together. Ready? Ice cream birthday, triangle, rice, pin, milk. Now we're going to sort these by if they have the long I, the short I, or something else that we don't hear. Okay, so let's move all this out of the way. Okay. Now over here, let's just start with triangle. Say triangle. Do you hear it? In triangle, or do you hear I? Say it again out loud. Say it out loud. 
All right, listen. Try, I, yes. This one has the long vowel sound. It has I in it. All right, let's do another one. Let's do rice. Say rice. It has the word ice in it, which has I. So that one has the long vowel, like triangle, rice. Good. All right. What about pit in? What about pin? Do you hear I or do you hear I? Say pin. I hear I. Puh, in. It definitely says I, so let's put it here. It doesn't say I. Or right, what about I scream? That was kind of easy. What do you hear at the beginning? I scream. Yeah, I hear the I. So it goes over here with triangle, rice, ice cream. Good. All right. What about birthday? Now there's an I in there. Do you hear I or I? Say birthday. I don't hear either one. I don't hear the long vowel or the short vowel. Yeah. So I would say this one, it kind of goes over here by itself. It does not match up with short vowel or the long vowel. Now what about milk? Say milk. Milk. Does it have I or I? M ilk. Yes, it has the short I, like I. So do you see how we sorted these out? So we did step two which was, of a phonics project, which was sort them into groups, and we did that. Now, here's what you're going to do. At home, you can look around your house for other things that either start with I or have an I in it and figure out, is it the long vowel I that says I? Or is it the short vowel that says I, or does it not really go in either one? Because that can happen. So that's your job at home, okay? Oh, one more thing I thought of. This does not have to do with this, but it has to do with our lesson yesterday, which was alliteration. Let's go back to alliteration. Do you remember this, where we talked about things that started with the same letter sound? Did you listen to that book called If You Give a Dog a Donut? That's an alliteration. D dog, d donut. He used two D words. Isn't that pretty cool? All right, so back to this. Okay, so when you are looking around your house for words that have I in them, I hope you're thinking, is it saying I or I? All right, you guys did a great job. I want you to kiss your brain and keep being super smart.